the tribe. This is a overall collective reading. Overall collective reading. Let's go ahead and get started with your energy. <clears throat> What is it divine that you want me to illuminate to the collective today? Someone decided to give up their player ways here. Okay, somebody could have stopped smoking um, MJ here. Somebody could let a narcissist go. And oh, there's a couple that got married. Okay. So there's a couple that got married. This player... Decided to give up his player ways here. Okay. I see fame for some reason. Mama's fame may be significant. Somebody could be someone who goes to church with the cross here. Somebody could be very um, churchy here. You know, go to Sunday meetings, Tuesdays, Bible studies, Thursdays, choir rehearsals, okay, type of energy. And I feel like this masculine is very happy with this person. Okay, I, I'm picking up he finally, finally made a decision. There could have been like a lot of people he could have chose from and he decided to, uh, to pick this particular individual. She may like bamboo big earrings. She could be dark skin, brown skin. She could have shoulder length hair. Okay, this masculine may have short hair or bald head. Okay, he could be dark skinned here. I feel like they're truly indeed in love with each other. Okay, yeah, he decided to get rid of a narcissist energy. And there was a divine feminine he did betray. So, this energy that marries someone else made a decision to let go of a shit talker, a narcissist, a divine feminine, and a baby mama. Yeah, this person was someone that was working with, um, this was part of a family business organization here. So there, there could have been people that was in this business he was dealing here with. All right, I feel like you divine feminine, you could have walked away. You could be somebody who's very natural. You could have dreads here. You could be um, in this in this Erica Badu energy. You can also be some type of Indian, Cherokee, um, Shinnecock tribe, whatever your tribe is. I see the feathers here. I feel like this person decided to move towards who he wanted to be with, somebody he was working here with. So let's go to the next message. Um, what's the next energy under this betrayal energy? Yeah. This situation was dealing with one-sided love affairs, okay? I feel like with you, Divine Feminine, he kept on putting you through one-sided love affairs, and the woman he married was part of a one-sided love affair. He made his choice who he wanted to be with. I feel like you moved on, he moved on, and these other comics got the boot, boot period. Yeah, somebody could be crying, because of him moving on and cutting off, you know, everybody. I feel like he's faithful. He he is faithful. He's not dealing with anyone. Um, but I do feel like that these karmic energies are, you know, upset that, you know, they didn't get picked or that he's ending out third party energies. Yeah. There's a baby mama here that's going through bankrupt, you know what I'm saying, somebody going broke here, that could be one, two baby mamas here, all right, and a third chick here, and a narcissist, so we got one, two, three, four, or five women here, okay, they feel some type of way, and I feel like Divine Feminine, you feel betrayed, but I feel like, like, it's all good, you moving on, like, damn, all right, <laughs> Yeah, spotlight. This person is going to lose some type of, or maybe he stopped doing his craft. I don't know. Spotlight in the reverse. This person chose to stop to step out of the spotlight. This person can be a rapper here, okay? And let me get one more for uh, lost, loved, over loved ones, or lover. Yeah, 
Sometimes memories sneak out my eyes and roll down my cheeks. I don't. Here we go with that bullshit. Anyway, so this masculine may, be feel, may feel some type of regret of how he treated you because he know that he, he treated you wrong. He know he betrayed you. He know that he could have done better. He know you didn't deserve what had happened to you, but he still made his choices. And I feel like he's been crying over that because he didn't want to end the relationship. Oh, shit. Here we go with that bullshit. Okay. He was all about that celebration life, though. So, I mean, this person didn't want to give up, you know, parties and kickbacks and, you know, all kind of shindings they had going on. Five, 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 this situation needed to be changed. And I feel like you moved on, Divine Feminine, because this masculine wouldn't change with this partying lifestyle. Okay, so he married somebody that would take up his partying lifestyle. I feel like once he got married, he decided to let all of this go. Okay, what's the next energy? Yeah, someone across seas could be sick. Okay. It's not your business who I date outside my race. Health. So this could be you. You could be someone of a different race here, Divine Feminine. Somebody possibly thought you were sick or thought that you was had mental problems here. Could go both ways. That's why he didn't he wasn't he didn't choose you because of whatever he thought was to be true. But who cares? Yeah, with the marriage card in the reverse, he didn't choose you. And you don't I feel like you're unforgivable. This is the situation is unforgivable. And you're not planning on forgiving him because of what he did to you. I mean, you was his number one choice. He knew who you was. He knew he betrayed you. And yet he still betrayed to sleep and marry one of these karmic individuals from his past, knowing that you was his divine counterpart. So this situation is unforgivable. And no, you will not forgive him. Anything else? All right. Let me get one more card to end this out. No, he's not forgiven. And he can stay where the fuck he at. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it won't work. And maybe, it, maybe it won't work. It says maybe it won't work out. But maybe seeing if it does will be the best adventure ever. You don't want to make it work out with him. And I don't know why he thinks that he can just come back and make it seem like it can work. And it won't. But you got good news coming towards you though, Divine Feminine. Let's see what the good news is talking about. One more card for good news. Yeah, that could have been a bestie here he was sleeping with too. A best friend of his. Yeah. <clears throat> so this boss energy in the reverse. So I'm picking up this boss energy in the reverse. It's the wife energy here. This is who I'm picking up. And I feel like that this situation is not going to plan out um, the best way they thought. Maybe somebody wanted you to see something, but you really don't care. I feel like this could be that same person with good news. Someone, I guess she thought that, I don't know, that this good news that she had her marrying your person would make you feel some type of way. But I don't see that out here. Clarify, good news, the boss owning the reverse and marriage in the reverse. This marriage may, just as quick as they got married, they may go through a divorce. Child, I got time for this shit. Yeah, this ma she's still stalking this masculine page because he know that he been still watching you. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, he done beat his addictions up, man. Get the fuck out of here. Hold up. He married her. He got with her. She got with him. She got what she wanted, but she's still stalking this masculine to see if he's coming back towards you. Because he want to share some good news with you. Get the fuck out of here. This person been seeing how you've been taking care of your body and wants a new start with you. Somebody from your fucking past. And he's ready to let all these third party energies go. Man, get the fuck out of here. People going to be in shock when this, this situation comes and unfold. Yeah, cousin. He done cut off a cousin here. Because he really want to marry you. 
you can be someone who don't smoke weed <laughs> or Mary or MJ. Yeah, this shit is fucking beneath me. Yeah, he was dealing with females that had sexual addictions. Yeah, best friend. Individuals had criminal backgrounds here when he was dealing with these addictions. Oh, I'm done with this energy. This shit is fucking beneath me and beneath my my collective energy. Like I say, this situation is unforgivable. This person has to go to God and ask for forgiveness. All right, and I'm going to end it out. Peace.